Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss exponential and logarithmic function. So first I'm going to show how to find the f inverse, followed by graph sketching, then determine the domain and the range for the function. So number one, given fx is equals to log base 10 bracket 2x plus 1. So my first task is to show how to determine the inverse function. So let f inverse x is equal to y. So f y will be equal to x. And I'm going to substitute x with y. So we will have f y will be equal to log base 10 2y plus 1. So as we all know, fy actually is equal to x. So now I'm going to replace. So where we have x is equal to log base 10, 2y plus 1. Next step, I'm going to rearrange or shifting the thing so that y become the subject. So as we all know, this is a log form. So now I'm going to convert to index form where we will have n is equals to a to the power of x. So we will have 10 to the power of x equals to 2y plus 1. Rearrange the situation so that y become the subject. So we will have 2y equals to 10 to the power of x minus 1. So finally, y will be equals to 10 to the power of x over 2 minus 1 over 2. So finally, y actually is equals to f inverse x. So my inverse function for y for f will be equals to 10 to the power of x over 2 minus 1 over 2. So where we have exponential function. So the domain for the f inverse actually is equals to negative infinity until infinity because it is an exponential function. Second task, I'm going to show how to sketch the graph. So given that this is a log function, so as we all know, log x, the domain for log function will be x greater than 0. So for this case, we have fx is equals to log base 10, 2x plus 1. So in order to determine the domain, we have to let 2x plus 1 greater than 0 and x will be greater than negative 1 over 2. So the domain for f will be equals to negative 1 over 2 until infinity where negative 1 over 2 is not included. So that will be our domain. Second step, we are going to sketch the graph. So before we sketch, we have to refer to the domain. So for the value of x, the graph cannot touch x equals to negative 1 over 2 because it is a asymptote. So now we have to refer to the function log base 10 2x plus 1. Next, we are going to determine the direction of the graph. So by referring to 2x plus 1, if the coefficient of x is positive, then our graph will be towards the right. If the coefficient of x is negative, then our graph will be towards the left. So for this case, our x is 2. So our diagram or our graph will be towards the 
right. So now we are going to draft the situation. So based on the diagram or the information, we have x is equals to negative 1 over 2, which is asymptote. The meaning of asymptote is over here. So x will be equals to negative 1 over 2, meaning that the graph cannot touch the vertical asymptote or the line. They only can approaching. So now we have three situations. The first, the situation will be something like this. We'll pass by the y-intercept at the top or above the x-axis and we denoted it as the situation A. Second situation will be passed by the origin. Third situation will be bottom of the x-axis. So it will be C. So we have three situations and how to determine whether the situation is A B or C by substituting the value. So in order to find the y in the set, we are going to substitute the value when the x is equal to 0. So we are going to substitute f0 equals to log base 10 bracket 2 multiplied with 0 plus 1. So finally we have log 1. So at the end, f0, or the value of y, is equals to 0. So meaning that we have the second situation, which is a b. So b will be our graph. So now we are going to sketch the graph. So basically, we have the asymptote. So where x is equals to negative 1 over 2. Second, we already know the situation, which is a B. So my graph will be something like this. So this is the graph. Fx is equals to log base 10 bracket 2x plus 1. So origin. So this is how we sketch the graph for the function Fx. So next, we are going to discuss what is the domain for this situation and also the range. So the domain, as we all know, the domain for this case is negative 1 over 2 until infinity when the negative 1 over 2 is not included. As for range for the f, the answer would be negative infinity until infinity. Reason? By referring to the lower values of the y which is a negative infinity and by referring to the maximum value of y which is a positive infinity so here we are and thanks for watching